In last week's episode, we completed our second overnight passage. We sailed 240 nautical miles from Venice to some tiny little islands you've probably never heard of off the coast of Italy, the Trimetti Islands. This archipelago is composed of five small islands and a part of the Gagano National Park. It has lush vegetation, unspoiled landscapes and beautiful cliffs overlooking the sea. Just off the mainland of Italy and a two-hour ferry ride if you don't have your own boat. I'm Janae and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies travelling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Hello. It's now like 1.30 in the afternoon. We've been at this anchorage all morning. But we're moving. Yeah, it's been really nice. We're the only boat here, the only sailboat. Um, and we went and had a little dive each to a statue, which is really cool. Um, we weren't really able to get great footage of it because the GoPro wouldn't turn on when we got um, down to like 10 meters. So we'll uh, maybe we'll come back here with the tender and try and get some footage because it was pretty cool. But we're just uh, moving on to one of the other little islands here, um, more so where the town is. Um, we've got some wind coming from the east, so we're trying to get a bit of protection from at least the swell. There isn't really anywhere here that we're going to get protection from the wind. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have some of Jason's tuna that he caught for lunch. And I'm making some chippies in the new air fryer that we got, little baby air fryer. So yeah. Should be nice, and then we might just have a bit of a chill afternoon because we're still a little bit tired from the passage. Um, and then we'll adventure around for the next few days. So we still got to get the tender down so we can um, maybe just take the tender to a few spots. There's a few kind of like blue caves around the islands, some beaches, a massive castle, the little town. Yeah, it's a really cool set of islands. It's like three islands, like a little archipelago of islands, and yeah, there's way more here than I expected to see. So I'm pretty excited. I, I kind of wish we came here when it was a bit warmer. Um, but yeah, hopefully we have some decent weather for the next few days to explore. So I'm loving it. I could spend forever here. is this castle it is huge or whatever it is <laughs> it's massive yeah, it look like a castle this time, it? yeah I don't really know what it is it's like a whole city up there honestly look at that it's epic crazy they built stuff like this back in the day on cliffs So we've arrived at the nicest unexpected anchorage. It's a nice sandy beach over there. There's mooring balls everywhere. Um, we did try to anchor, but there was like quite a few lines and mooring balls under the water. So it was really sketchy. And they've obviously uh, deliberately done it so that you can't anchor in between. But anyway, we read on Navali that someone said that after the 27th of September, they're free. So fingers crossed they are we've decided to pick up a mooring ball and we'll just see if someone comes over or not um if someone comes over we'll probably leave uh and not pay because apparently it's like 60 to 70 euro if not more so fingers crossed no one does but yeah it's the most beautiful spot like we've got a view over here of the other island with the castle we've got this island here and then behind it over there is like a little 
another little part of the island that looks like it's the Algarves from Portugal. It's really cool around here. So we're just having some lunch and then I think we might go lay on the beach and have a little nap over on the beach. sand again it's been a while the restaurants behind us I'm not sure if any of them are open but it's out of season now it's a little bit fresh but it's nice to lay here Supposed to calm down tonight, but uh, there was a bit of wind about this afternoon. But we've got two lines, one's looser than the other one. So if one was to fray and snap, hopefully we'd feel the jerk back between the two. I'm sure we'll be fine though. And how pretty is this? Such a nice day today. It's warm enough to be in bikinis, which is awesome. Haven't done that in a good month or so, I reckon. Up. <laughs> yeah, Jason's getting hot because he's still got long pants on. Um, so we just got the tender back down. Bit of a mission. <laughs> and we're gonna go for a dive. There's, we didn't realize, but there's some really good dive spots around these islands. So we're gonna go and check out a statue under the water. Um, that we quickly saw yesterday, but we didn't get any footage of it. So hopefully we can today. Um, and then we've got a few other spots that we're able to find online from the dive centers here. So yeah, we'll check it out. We've only got one, the one small um, Smacko dive tank at the moment, but we do have the big tank that we fill it off. So we've got about four more dives I think that we can use. So we'll make the most of that and um, we can just snorkel the rest, I guess. So yeah, it should be fun. Woohoo! I'm really excited. So am I. Literally a pearl of a day. We didn't have too much of a problem getting this down either. It was a little bit difficult. It's a lot heavier than our old tender. Yeah. And this thing is just, we put, we stored it in the bedroom for our passage, our 260 nautical mile passage, um, which did the trick. It was perfect in there, but just trying to get it back out is so hard. Yeah. Bit of a mish, but anyway, we managed. We need some kind of pulley system, I think. Yeah. Or, Davits eventually. Yeah, so we'll have to sort that out. But um, for now, we can do it. It's just a mission. So hopefully we don't drop it in the water or damage it because we'll be devastated if we do. But yeah, we're pretty excited to go diving. Hopefully we can get our hands on a couple of dive tanks, like two two dive setups, hopefully soon. So in time for next summer. So if anyone wants to sponsor us for dive here. <laughs> we will happily take that sponsorship. Please and thank you. Woohoo! Got our in. stuff. Got our water. Ready to go. See ya, escapade. Woo. Right, we have arrived at spot number one, 
wasn't on our list, but we saw the mooring ball and we can see the shallow water and you can kind of see where it drops off. So Jason's in there checking it out, just snorkeling. I'm about to jump in and have a little snorkel as well. And then if it's good, we'll go for a dive, scuba dive. Already on. Um, I just went down and had a quick snorkel around there. It looks really cool under there. There's a lot of structure, which is perfect to dive. There's gonna be a lot of fish and hopefully some cool sights. What are you doing up there in that little bit? They look like they're stuck. Are they stuck? Found this cool little random cave. Look how clear the water is. It looks insane. <laughs> back it up, back it up, back it up, sis. <laughs> it's sick, right? Yeah, it's really cool. Alright, we found a second cave. This one looks really cool. It's like purple bits all around the edges where the water comes up. I love a bit of purple, didn't I? Oh, that goes <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. We're not gonna get like rocks falling on us, are we? Well, this... shiny light down just oh, there's like a little a little thing in the rock there, look. It's like a little sensor or something. What is that? Oh wow. This is epic! <laughs> what the hell? This is the coolest thing ever. We're gonna have bats come out. <laughs> Don't! Oh, you can see the reflection of the rocks. Right. <laughs> that was so cool, but it got really shallow right at the end. So we're reversing out to make sure we don't hit anything. Was this the, the blue grotto that everyone was talking about? Surely it must be. Look, there's stuff written on the wall. Not 1898. You're kidding. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look That's, at the water. This is probably the coolest cave I've been in. Yeah, well, the fact that we just randomly stumbled up. We knew there was like, um, like kind of like blue, different blue grottos around this island, but we didn't realize it was gonna go in that far. And it's so cool because we've come in in our own tender, just like 
on our own. There's no one around. Got the entire thing to ourselves. Look at that. Really cool. Pretty epic, honey. Very epic. <laughs> Worth the afternoon adventure just for that. There's so many like really cool rock formations and caves and stuff around these islands. No wonder it's like so popular for diving. I just feel like there's so much like, I don't know, there's so many interesting things going on under the water. So much structure, that's what you can call it. That's what you call it. Oh, look at that. The sunset's like gonna come down in between this arch. <laughs> This place is honestly incredible. Look at that water. And then there's just this random beach. No one is at. <laughs> Full sandy beach, which you do not see in the med. Like, this place is seriously one of my favorite places I've ever been. Yeah, well, I think it's just because it's so unknown. Yeah. I don't know anyone who's been here before. So cool. this beach no one's here and then I noticed there was like a hole in the rocks here so I walked this way and there's like another whole beach how cool is that seriously a little bit of rubbish here sadly but stunning nonetheless to come and see if we can walk up through the castle for sunset. We're not sure if we're gonna get told off because there's like no one around, but find out when we get in there, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's like a full town up here. Is the sunset up here? Beautiful. This place is so cool. It's like actually a little village where people live. It's quiet, but there's a few people walking their dogs. This restaurant is open, which is extremely unexpected. And we're just gonna go walk up through the castle. Wow. This looks like endless ocean, doesn't it? And that's where we dived, just over here. Seven of the three rocks at yep. the far end. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the water down there. So pretty. Very like grey sky. Yeah. This is San Nicola Island. This island takes its name from the monk Nicolo, who was buried here. The fascinating legend says that every time someone tried to move his body off the island, a violent storm would break out, preventing navigation around the island. Looks like a well, hey. Like all the top has like had carvings in it and stuff. It's really cool. Oh my God, it just keep, keeps going. Look at that, after death, 1792. going on to each other about like oh this is so cool because we're like the only people here and then we're walking through all these weird corridors and Jason went to go into this like little house he's like oh no it looks like a prison cell so he comes back out and then we come around this corner here <laughs> this guy just walks towards us and we both jumped and just like shit ourselves he just started laughing 
Other than that, we haven't seen another soul around here, so... Crazy. It's really cool. Right, look at this. Look at that water. It's insane. Stunning. Right, Janae can see a boat in the distance. Heavy. There he is. <laughs> Blurry, but we were just looking at that little baby sailboat all the way over there. Watching the full moon rise. It's now 7 pm at night and the wind has picked up. <laughs> Um, not crazily, but the swell is getting pretty big and quite rolly. Um, there was three of us here, three boats. One of them's moved onto the pier. Um, Jason just took the tender to check it out, but it doesn't look like there's really any room for us to go on there. So we don't really have a choice right now, but just to ride it out on the mooring ball. Um, we've got two lines secure on there like we did when we came here. Um, there still is another boat next to us, so we're just hoping uh, the wind's supposed to calm down in like an hour or so. Um, so yeah, hopefully the swell calms down and doesn't pick up. But apparently there's like a low weather, what is it? Low pressure system. Yeah. Building up. Above us. Yeah, Above so. Us, anyway, I think we are uh, just get a little bit paranoid, especially being on a mooring ball um, with swell because we know what happened in January in Turkey, but Fingers crossed it just chills out a little bit. Cause yeah, it's not so much the wind right now, it's the swell. It's super rolly and really like quite big, really, for being on anchor or being, you know, in a bay. But I guess these islands are really exposed as well. There's like not much around us, so. Our gut must have been telling us something. All right, there has been a recent turn of events. We are now at the pier because the mooring ball snapped and it was not our line this time. It was the freaking metal pole with the loop out of the ball. We're never gonna trust mooring balls again. Seriously. So we've tied up to the town key and it was like the only spot we could. We were very lucky that there was a spot. I would have been like, too bad, we're going, I don't care where, we're going where the ferry normally goes. Yeah. We have to. And um, yeah, they, they let us in and it was free. Yeah, it's free uh, at night time in this time of year because the weather can be bad. So it's kind of like a little oasis for people to go to. But um, we do actually have the pole. The guy that helped us took it over that way somewhere to the Harbour Master. But we literally had the pole still attached to our boat with our two lines. So, oh man, that was a stressful situation. So we had to come into this harbour where it's not swelly and then we had to put the fenders all up, um, get the lines ready, move the tender, all while trying to stay in this little patch where it wasn't too shallow. And we now have only 0 0.3 under the keel, so it's like a little bit sketchy. And we're kind of on the piece a little bit. We're a bit crooked, but it was a hard job, wasn't it really? Yeah. He did a good job. Oh man, I'm like so relieved to be here. That was really stressful. We're lucky like Jason heard like a snap noise and I came out, I, I ran out to check straight away and then I could see both our lines hanging like they weren't tight. <sighs> I was like, and then I saw a piece of metal, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then you're like, I think we've snapped off the worry. One of our lines has snapped. I'm like, are you sure? I didn't and, and know, but I, they were both like and loose. Then I saw the boat just going like this. I'm like, oh shit, yeah. We've, we didn't like, move. Panic, 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 we panic, didn't panic, move that quickly. Like we didn't drift that quickly back. But I was like, just hurry up and get the boat on. Like, yeah. oh man. Anyway, you never get these things on film because there's too many things going on. There's only two of us. But yeah. Anyway, at least we'll hopefully have a decent night's rest tonight. Good afternoon. We've uh, been at the dock all day today. We planned to leave this morning and 
yeah, the weather wasn't looking too good. It didn't look like it had calmed down and there was still a low pressure system forming um, close by. So it said the swell was gonna be 1.8 meters. So we made the decision that we wouldn't leave today. And then we thought we'd try our luck at just staying at the dock and seeing if someone comes and tells us off, um, which we ended up being nervous all morning. And then a guy came next to us in the boat next door and we just went over and chatted to him to make sure we weren't in his way. And he was super friendly and he basically said that you, you'll be fine here, it's out of season. Um, just tell the Coast Guard and that's it really. So anyway, we haven't managed to see the Coast Guard or anyone to tell them, but no one has come and told us off. So yeah, we've just been hanging out here all day. I've been editing, just been chilling. So we're ready for our passage uh, south tomorrow. So. Um, yeah, fingers crossed the swell has settled by then. It says it's supposed to, so. We'll see you next week when we continue our journey south on the east coast of Italy.